how are you all i hope you are doing well in this video we start a new chapter called insurance claims before understanding what is this insurance claims see this is a two word okay one is insurance another one is claims first we understand insurance later on claims okay before understanding the word insurance let us try to see the history behind it quickly quickly we see the history behind this insurance okay for that let me take one example try to observe this example there are thousand families in a village how many families thousand families in a village suppose a family member dies suppose one person in a family okay he dies now everyone is giving some amount to the family of that dead person you people tell me why tell me why the other people other family members contribute some amount to the to this family so when a family member dies okay so uh, that family suffers a financial loss yes or no suppose a family member who is earning money he died so that family suffers from financial loss yes or no to compensate that financial loss the other members of the families are contributing some amount yes or no is this a humanity or not is this humanity or not yes okay now we'll see another example another example now assume there are thousand houses in a village every year some houses are exposed to fire some houses are exposed to fire that can cause an average loss of rupee 1 lakh not all houses but some some of the houses some of the houses met with the fire yes or no when fire occurs on an average there is a loss of 1 lakh rupee per house okay now when fire occurred that family who lost the house suffers from some financial loss because again if, if they wants to if they want to construct the house again they need some money yes or no now what happened again, again the remaining people they contributed some amount and they donated this amount to the needy people yes or no why why because the other people are suffering from financial loss so that these people again contributed some amount and they are handing this amount to the to those people now again tell me is this humanity or not yes now what is happening in the above all examples they are pooling the money from all the people and they are sharing that amount among themselves try to understand they are pooling the money and this money they are handing to the people who were suffering from financial loss yes or no yes that means what that means what that means we are living in a world of uncertainty yes or no we are living in a world of uncertainty we don't know when anything happen anything happen to us at any point of time recently you have seen in the turkey some earthquake happened yes or no fire may be happened some train accidents aircrafts aircraft accidents yes or no so anything may be happened to us yes or no so that means we are living in a world which has uncertainty okay so there is always some risk attached to human being life not only human being life but also in case of business but also first human being life after that business also whether it is a small business 
or medium scale business or large scale business whatever it may be there is some risk associated or attached with this human being life as well as business now you people tell me this concept of risk risk gives birth to a new business opportunity that business opportunity is nothing but insurance business examples what you observed see um, for any village so there are some gentlemen manam paatha rojullo pedda raidu ane vallam kada gurtunda so ala every village there are some gentlemen who will collect this amount voluntarily from other members and they handed over this amount to the people who suffered from financial loss yes or no this is happened earlier days it is not a business voluntarily they they collected the amount and they handed over this amount but but now what happens now what happens this risk gives birth to the insurance business yes or no right now we try to understand what is this insurance business see insurance is a legal agreement insurance is a legal agreement between two parties one party is insurance company insurance company that will call it as insurer insurer and the other party may be the other party may be individual that means human being human being or business organization business organization this we call it as insured insured that means what for any insurance there are two parties one is insurer that means insurance company another one is insured that means the person who is taking this insurance okay now we try to understand what is the insure what is the agreement sorry what is the agreement agreement technically in a technical language this agreement is called insurance policy from insurance business point of view this agreement is called insurance policy now look at it is a contract insurance policy is nothing but what it is a contract contract in which an individual or an organization gets financial protection do remember students financial protection and compensation for any damages if anything happened then the insurance company pays some compensation anything happened mean any financial loss suffered any financial loss then the insurance company pays some insu some compensation okay it is a agreement between these two parties okay next look at this policy contains the details about so this policy contains the details about the conditions and circumstances under which insurance company will pay the insurance amount to either the insured person or to the nominees see already you have seen so many situations see um, when a person dies the insurance company pays amount to the nominee not to the uh, deceased person yes or no so the amount is paid either to the insured or to the nominee of the insured so what are the conditions and circumstances since the conditions and circumstances under which this insurance amount is paid there should be compulsorily some financial loss to the insured then only the insurance company pays some compensation next to indemnify that is nothing but compensation the loss caused to the insured the insured should pay some periodical payments do remember if the if you want to if you want the insurance company should compensate you then first you have to pay some periodical amounts to the insurance company this periodical amounts are called insurance premium if you want the insurance company to pay compensation to you then first you should enter into an agreement with the insurance company for taking this insurance policy 
So to take the insurance policy, you have to pay first some periodical amounts to the insurance company, either for a certain period of time or for a continuous period of time. Okay, so these periodical payments technically called premium amounts, insurance premium amounts. Okay, next. Now, insurance. There are different types of insurance as you have seen. Okay, first life insurance, next one is general insurance, life insurance and general insurance. So, what is the meaning of life insurance? If the risk on the life of individual, see now we are covering the risk on the life of individual, then this insurance policy we are calling it as life insurance. If any risk is covered on other than life of human being, I repeat, if any risk covered on other than human being, the human being's life is called general insurance. So this general insurance may be on the risk of physical asset or non-physical assets. Come to general insurance that means what health insurance you have seen okay this health insurance is on the health of the human being now uh, you can take into this health insurance policy either on the health of the human being total health or individual parts see nowadays insurance companies providing insurance for different parts of your body also heart for specific specific asset see heart is the asset for human life human being so you can take insurance on your heart you can take insurance on your brain you can take insurance on your liver kidneys what not okay so nowadays nowadays insurance nowadays everything can be covered under insurance okay next travel insurance during the travel if anything happened to you then the insurance company pays some compensation now uh, if you see when you are booking tickets from irctc website irctc website so when you are booking tickets at the end of booking they will uh, they mention two things do you need travel insurance or not if you put s they will charge some nominal amount 50 paisa 40 paisa amount that means what during this travel during this travel period that may be four hours five hours or ten hours during your traveling period if anything happened to you because of some reason because of some reason that again terms and conditions are different an insurance company pays compensation to you if you opt s yes, then you you will be charged some extra amount 50 paisa less than one rupee if you charge, if you put your option no, then okay, no problem. That means travel insurance. Even if you are traveling through air, Airbus, Airbus is what? Aeroplane. Then if anything happened, then insurance company pays compensation, not to you, your nominees. So this is travel insurance. And at the same time, motor insurance. Motor insurance you have seen, bike insurance, car insurance, any uh, four-wheeler or any motor vehicle. So you can take insurance on the motor vehicles. At the same time, property insurance, property may be anything, anything, house or jewelry or stock, whatever it may be, property insurance and electronic items insurance. Now, you, if you see, even on your mobile, you can take insurance policy. Actually, I bought one TV some uh, seven, eight years ago. At that time, the, I paid 2500 or 2800 to insure my TV for a period of one year or two years. During this period, if anything happened to the TV, then you need, you need not to pay anything for repair. So they will, uh, they will give you new TV or something, anything. Okay. That means every electronic item is also covered under insurance. You can see refrigerator, AC, okay, and uh, uh, washing machines, coolers, whatnot. On all electronic items, you can take insurance, okay. Next, crop insurance. Crop insurance. See, uh, Pradhan Mandri, uh, we have a scheme called uh, Pradhan Mandri uh, Fasal Bhima Yojana, something we have. 
okay so if anything happened to the crop due to any reason then the insurance company pays some compensation to the farmers yes or no like this we have different types of insurance which are covered under general insurance okay now what is commercial insurance commercial insurance look at commercial insurance means these are covered so many things are covered inter, under business so this is nothing but business insurance look at now liability insurance liability insurance what is the meaning of this liability insurance suppose your business is having some liability which is payable to the bank or any money lender okay on this liability you can take insurance if you fail to pay this liability then insurance company pays this liability on behalf of you liability insurance okay next marine insurance this you know very well next employee benefit insurance okay next uh, business interruption insurance now these two are very important stock insurance why because in our chapter of insurance claims exclusively we are going to discuss these two things business interruption insurance and stock insurance so just go through the concept of insurance once again so you may get some books or you can refer in the google okay so just have some basic idea about insurance before solving problems under insurance claims have not thorough knowledge at least some basic knowledge about a insurance business why in trade insurance i said in the under insurance claims chapter we discuss about two things one is stock insurance another one is business interruption insurance we'll discuss what are the what are these two things okay now first uh, under stock insurance risk covered there should be some risk to our stock okay so risk covered on the stock or inventory of the business what are what is generally what is the risk for the stock look at stock to cover the risk we should pay fire insurance we should take which type of insurance you have to buy fire insurance fire insurance okay now look at stock can be hold by business in business premises or in the go down see suppose if you are a manufacturer if you are doing manufacturing business you can hold the stock in the manufacturing unit as well as in the go down so either you can take combined insurance or you can take separate insurance policies as per the terms and conditions of insurance business generally, generally what is the risk associated with the stock tell me generally goods lost due to fire theft or deterioration so because of these reasons the we may lost our goods for that purpose we should take insurance look at when goods were lost due to when goods were lost due to any cause as per the insurance terms as per the insurance terms then we can make a claim we can make a claim request a claim request to insurance company for compensation when insurance company pays compensation only when a financial loss occurred or happened to you till that time insurance company don't pay any compensation to you if any loss occurred to you or if any loss occurred due to any reason and that reason or that cause should be mentioned in the insurance policy then only then you have to request you have to make a claim you have to um, make a formal request to the insurance company insurance company for compensation i hope you understood next how insurance company settles the claim how insurance company settles the claim for that we have three steps first step claim reporting see you have taken insurance policy okay very good how insurance company knows you suffered from financial loss tell me i hope you are able to follow you have taken insurance policy very good how the insurance company knows you are suffering from financial loss or some financial losses occurred to you or happened unless you tell to the insurance company how insurance company knows about loss 
yes or no right so for that first you have to report to the insurance company insurance company i have suffered from this loss financial loss please compensate you have to request the insurance company that is called claim reporting claim reporting second step see you reported claim yes or no okay fine insurance company should verify see insurance company will not pay the amount blindly after receiving your claim reporting form it will inquire it will appoint a person or an agent on behalf of insurance company he will come to the premises and he verify and he inquire he inquire why this is happened and how much of loss suffered okay all these details are given by this uh, verifier okay based on this person report the insurance company may accept your claim or simply reject your claim don't think that simply by giving report uh, or uh, requesting the insurance company insurance company pays money to you no after you uh, request the insurance company before insurance company pays amount to you between these two stages there is one important stage that is claim processing this is very very important claim processing after successful processing of your claim then only the insurance company pays amount to you okay right this is step two now step three claim settlement after receiving report from this uh, agent or the person uh, who is appointed by insurance company then company settles the amount this is the this is how the company insurance company settle the claim clear everybody right now now we will not bother about this second one and third one because these two are in these two are not in our hand yes or no these two steps are from insurance company side insurance company side that means what is in our hand then claim reporting so we have to report the claim to report the claim first of all you should assess or calculate how much of goods lost or how much of stock lost yes or no okay now we enter into that concept see claim reporting claim reporting right a claim reporting is nothing but what an official request claim reporting is nothing but what an official request request to the insurance company to whom to the insurance company for indemnifying the loss caused to the insured claim reporting is nothing but what it's an official request to the insurance company to indemnify that means compensating the loss caused to the insured now you may ask a doubt sir who can prepare this claim claim report who can prepare this claim report that may be by the insurance agent or maybe directly by the policy holder see nowadays we are taking insurance policy through insurance agent we are taking insurance policy through insurance agents okay whenever loss or whenever whenever anything happen you simply inform the insurance agent he can take care of that okay or else you can directly prepare this claim report in online nowadays it is everything online online only earlier days physical form you have to fill but nowadays simply sit in your home and open that uh, insurance company website and uh, fill the claim form simple so either insurance you can take the help of insurance agent or directly you can proceed the claim report clear everybody right see whoever prepares this claim report first of all we should assess or calculate the goods lost okay right next look at whoever prepares the claim request first we should assess the amount of loss yes fine now the question comes how to assess the amount of loss of stock yes or no how to assess how do we assess the amount of loss of stock that we discuss now now look at how to assess the value of stock lost look at loss of stock is nothing but what see what's the loss of stock whatever the stock there in your business as on the date of fire 
that is nothing but stock lost think with common sense suppose let us assume 10 9 20 22 fire occurred in your business premises as on this date whatever the stock available in your godown or assume all the stock were lost now let us assume as on this date you have some 10 lakhs worth of stock in your godown see what is the amount of loss of stock means 10 lakhs only yes or no but it is not simple it is not that much of simple look at it so first calculate the value of stock as on the date of file okay from that deduct any value of stock salvaged salvaged means saved okay see when fire occurred there may be complete loss of stock okay or some stock may be salvaged saved okay right so from the value of goods as on the date of fire deduct any amount of goods salvaged then whatever the net amount you will get net amount you will get that is nothing but your amount of loss of stock clear everybody see here two things are important first thing is what the amount of goods there in our go down as on the date of fire this is first thing second thing any salvage any value of stock salvaged second thing is easy why after happening of fire or after fire occurred simply we visit the place of that uh, premises and we see any stock salvaged or not we will verify okay any stock salvaged or not if not you if you cannot find anything that means what stock salvaged is zero simple but now the problem comes with the first situation now the problem comes with the first situation what is that first situation value of stock as on the date of fire how do we calculate the stock as on the date of fire this is important task in our insurance claims so this we are going to learn in our chapter insurance claims okay right now how to calculate the value of stock as on the date of fire this we understand in the next class i hope you are enjoying my videos if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel and e video like cheyandi comment cheyandi share cheyandi inka more updates kosam bell icon click cheyandi we meet again in the next video students bye bye everyone